Um, when I was young, my father had cancer. And um, he was diagnosed when I was two. And they told him six months. He would live six months. And he ended up living seven years. Um, so I was nine when he passed away. But during that time, we had, of course, many people that did kind things for our family, but one that really stuck out to us, um, and one that we tell as a family all the time, is about this woman who, um, one day, it was a hot summer day, and my dad, in the end of his um, life, was hooked up to oxygen 24-7, and uh, so he couldn't get out much and, and didn't care to go out much. He felt kind of... Uh, weird about carrying the oxygen and so forth and so um, one day there was a knock at the door and my mom answered the door and she said a lady was standing there and she had a popsicle and um, this was a family who didn't have much as far as worldly things um, but she said I'm here to bring something to Keith because um, it's a hot day and I was thinking about him and I thought he might like a cold popsicle and so she came in the house, or my dad, my mom walked over and asked my dad, would it be okay if, if she came in, she has this popsicle, and he said, you know, I'm not feeling very well today, I really don't want visitors, can you just tell her thank you and come back another time? And so she um, gave my mom the popsicle and left. And as they walked in, my dad saw the popsicle and, and he got really teary and, and thought, you know what, go get her, bring her back in and let me talk to her. And um, so my mom went out to grab her, and anybody that knew our family well enough would come through the back door, um, never came to the front door, and they'd come through the garage. And My mom opened that back door and into the garage, and this woman had her white little hanky, and she was cleaning my dad's car with her little white hanky. And um, my mom got really teary, and she brought her in and visited with my dad. But what that story always reminds me of is that it doesn't have to be a huge thing that we do in this life for each other, just those small things. And it always reminds me of the story of the widow's might, just giving anything that you have, the very least of what you have, and can make such a huge difference. And because of what she did, that day, how it touched not only my mom and dad, but it's touched our family. And it's taught me that I don't have to, it doesn't have to be grand. Just something simple, something small makes a huge difference and goes a long way.